What is up, my butter biscuits? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about James Charles and Trisha Paytas, y'all. This one is a very, very messy one. It has to do with the Demilios. However, I'm not going to be talking about the Demilios too much. This is more so just focusing on Trisha Paytas and James Charles because it seems as if they have like an ongoing beef, which normally is provoked by Trisha. Let's just be honest. Like she's always calling him out and hey, you know, to each their own. But I just I feel like she's just always going hard on him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everyone's fully entitled to their opinion. So in today's video, we're mostly going to be talking about that and the TikToks that she had put out um about james as well as his tiktok about her y'all this one is getting really really messy and i'm very curious to know what your guys's opinion is on this situation so we're going to be going over all the details the tweets and tiktoks within this video so if you guys are interested in that of course go ahead and keep on watching if y'all are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified when i upload a new video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up because i would really appreciate that and let's go to get into it all right y'all so this actually all started because the demilios are coming out with a t i don't know if it's a tv show or if it's like a show on youtube i'm really not too sure because to be honest with you guys, I really didn't look too far into it. Um, like I had mentioned earlier, I'm just kind of like the Demilios are obviously way too young for me. So I don't know. I just feel like it's just I'm too old to be watching their videos. Okay. So anyways, they're coming out with a talk show or a TV show, something along those lines. And James Charles was their first guest on the show. And during this, um, they were actually talking about Charlie Demilios uh, reaching 95 million followers. And she was just kind of like, man, can I just reach 100 million? This is where people are like, okay, come on, girl. You got 95 million followers within one year. And she was hoping to reach 100 million within one year of her reaching 1 million um, followers and this actually is like a really big trip to me because y'all this just shows you how uh, fast social media is growing because look how long it took for like Ariana Grande to get there or how long it took Selena to get there and these are obviously people who are like obviously well-known celebrities across the world and it still took them years to reach that milestone and she literally is doing it within one year so it just shows you how fast social media is actually growing so there was also another thing too I believe from Dixie D'Amelio where the chef had cooked some snacks I want to say it was and she was just so disgusted by this and she was just acting completely just outraged um, by it and as you guys know uh, snails are actually a delicacy throughout the world and a lot of people took offense to this because they're like wow this is food that I eat and the way that you're acting is just very inappropriate I do feel like it's very hard to give my opinions on this because I feel like I'm very in the middle I think that is if this was somebody older then I would be more so like okay come on act better however I don't know at that age look I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys I obviously was never like that I'm just not that type of person but I will say that I, pr I probably said some really messed up things and I probably had a very bad attitude at some points because during those stages y'all know how it is when we're like 15 16 17 y'all know we think we know it all and we act a certain way and then we grow up and life just smacks us in the face so I do feel very inappropriate like talking about somebody young like that because they're at a very you know tough position in their life because they're growing at such a rapid pace and they're getting all of this fame and publicity and people talking about them that it's obviously a lot to deal with and I do feel like people um kind of like you know are very very hard on them and need to keep in mind that they're actually still ki kids and y'all honestly I have to be honest I'm actually super super happy that I grew up without social media because I feel like times are just so hard with social media anyways with all that said I just wanted to have a little bit of a backstory right there because we're gonna go ahead and get into the TikToks right now because this is where it all starts off this is where Trisha Paytas is going on TikTok, which y'all, I just want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Like, is she not kind of like a drama channel for TikTok at this point? Which y'all, she kind of gave me a little bit of an idea. I was thinking about doing my commentary on TikTok because I don't know, like honestly, straight up, she'd be getting millions of views whenever she does something like calling out somebody or commenting on something, obviously because people like watching the drama. So she actually called out the Demilios, and this is where people are obviously having a problem with it because she's 32 years old talking about somebody who was like 16, maybe Charlie's 19. Honestly, y'all, I don't even know their ages. I probably should have looked it up before this video, but I just never was really interested in them. They're just too young for me to watch. Personally, this is why people are saying, okay, Trisha, like, girl, you're a little bit too old to be commenting on this. But this is where I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. Being obviously, I am 30 right now. In February, I'll be 31. Is it like rude or inappropriate to be commenting on some? who was obviously very much younger than me. Trisha Paytas obviously believes not. Um, this is why she has obviously made this TikTok. However, sometimes with me, I feel like they're a little bit too young for me to even be talking about. We're just in way too totally different generations. You know what I'm saying? However, all besides the point, this is actually the TikTok right here where she called out the Demilios, and I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. So go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I just did a reaction to this video of the Demilios and James Charles having dinner with a chef, and I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying like just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticism of the girls. There's a chef making the food. They're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food. And they're 19. They're young. But I do think 
since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get really famous, a lot of followers really quickly. They think they're entitled to 100 million. They complain that they only have 95 million followers. They complain that they have a personal chef and it's just unbecoming. And I don't think it's something to be embarrassed about because they are young girls, but to be catty and bratty in the comments when people are just like, hey, we're kind of like, this isn't cool behavior. It's just trying to help them learn and ultimately not get canceled because this kind of attitude, it won't get you far, period. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, y'all. So I want to honestly, like, be real. How do you guys feel about it? Like, do you guys feel like she was being very rude? Is it too much? Is it condescending? Is she putting them down? Because honestly, when I watched that, I kind of didn't really think too much of it. I didn't feel like it was, like, very rude or condescending or, like, you know, I don't know. I didn't take it in any type of way. I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. But this led James Charles to tweet out, this Charlie situation is not sitting right with me. 100 million followers in one year and y'all expect her to know how to be a perfect role model? D threats, I can't say the d word on here i'm really not too sure because the censorship on youtube is real but y'all know what i when i say d threats y'all know what i'm saying because she's a picky eater and made a joke about a milestone question mark 30 plus year olds dragging someone half their age question mark feels familiar and see, obviously, he's probably being a little bit overprotective of them because he did go through similar situations. He grew on social media super, super fast at a young age. So I totally get that. Um, this is where it's like a very fine line. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really have a dead set opinion on this about whether people should be critical of somebody who is obviously very young. Y'all can let me know about that. I just... I don't know. I feel a little bit weird about this one, but this is where the situation goes on because Trisha Paytas saw James Charles uh, tweet and y'all, of course, she had to take to Twik, Twik talk <laughs> to TikTok. Y'all, I'm gonna come up with a new social media app called TikTok. okay? Anyways, go ahead and check this one out right here because I do want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this one as well. Oh, had to come back because our favorite forever victims, James Charles, subtweeted this about me, 30 plus year old, dragging someone half their age. Hey, you young kids and kittens, the reason why you're so rich is because people talk about you. I'm allowed to comment on people I've never even met before. I wasn't a 30 year old being friends with you, James, under age. You are also 21 years old, friends with an underage. Tati took advantage of you by being friends with you. You're doing that with Charlie. I haven't been friends with you. I haven't been friends with Charlie. I am not friends with them. I'm simply someone on social media giving comments. And just because you don't like me, James. Charlie also came after me because those words were exactly the words that came out of your mouth. Keep my name out of your mouth. I'm going to keep talking about you as long as you're on social media. You people are open for criticism. There's no hate. There's no bullying. There's no foul misconduct except for you. All right. So as you guys can see from right there, Trisha Paytas is, you know, she's a little bit irritated, getting a little bit petty. And this is where obviously things start to blow up a little bit more. And actually from this, James Charles saw her TikTok and made a response video to it. And y'all, this one is actually blowing up because it's only been up for five hours as I'm filming this video right now. And it actually has 21.5 million views. So this just shows you, honestly, y'all, like, oh my gosh, drama really do be getting the views. It's kind of crazy. It really does be getting the views. Um, it's just kind of like a trip and i'm like whoa i'm actually really surprised that james charles took to that because if you guys check out his twitter his twitter his tiktok he never really mentions any type of drama or anything like that he just does dances and different types of tiktoks however this is the first thing that he addressed and honestly i really feel like y'all can you know clock me if i'm wrong but i really do feel like Trisha Paytas is low-key excited about this because, yes, Trisha Paytas is already popular, but she's not James Charles popular, and he just gave her a whole lot of attention right now. And I could only imagine how many views the next Frenemies podcast is going to get, being that this literally within five hours has 21.5 million views. So I'm like, ooh, this one's blowing up. But anyways, I'm rambling too much today. I'm really, really sorry, y'all. Like, I drank way too much coffee, so I'd be talking too much and too fast. You guys go ahead and check out the James Charles TikTok right now. How is it that James Charles is the victim in every single shit you? I didn't want to respond to this because I didn't want to give Trisha the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've never been accused of being a this is not an accusation that I'm going to take lightly. Uh, to insinuate that the relationship between Charlie and I is anything other than just a friendship is absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie and Charlie does not need me. I became friends with the Demilio family as a whole very, very early on because this is all very, very new to them. And I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way that I possibly could. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same age, had one thing in common, which is coming to the spotlight at a very, very young age. This is something that Trisha has never experienced because the only reason she is in the spotlight is because she has said racist things. She said the N-word. She's done blackface. She offended 
the trans community. She offended the DID community. She said Hitler wasn't that bad of a guy, voted for Trump, and has started a fight with about every single other creator on this platform. You are in no position to be talking about me and my career, so I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age, pack it up, and work on holding yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem. All right, y'all, and you guys may be having some questions with what he's saying right there about the allegations that Trisha Paytas is putting out there because she did actually quote tweet his tweet and say, poor parenting on your parents and James for allowing you to be friends with Tati, a middle-aged woman while you were 18. Unfortunately, you were the victim then, but now Charlie is the victim. You being friends with a minor is P word Tory. Y'all know what I'm trying to say there. So I do really feel like, look, y'all, they are like what? like a couple years apart in age yes james charles is 21 i believe charlie d'amelio is you know what let me look up her age okay so charlie d'amelio is actually 16 years old i actually thought i don't know why i thought she was 19 i think trisha paytas said it within a video or something like that so obviously she's very young she's five years younger than james charles what do you guys feel about that because her making this statement to me i'm just kind of like whoa you know they're five years apart which obviously i do understand at that age is very much different however they do obviously have a lot in common being that they grew so fast on social media so to me i don't really view it as that big of a deal and to be honest with you like maybe when i was like 20 honestly i had friends that were like 17 and 18 you know what i mean i don't know but times are changed now if times are very different trisha pay trilla trisha paid is saying that uh, to me honestly i don't agree with i don't i don't know i feel like that is very very messed up for her to say that especially given james charles history and what he's been through in his whole cancellation last year I think that's kind of a low blow if you ask me. And you guys know there's sometimes that I actually really do like Trisha Paytas. I really enjoy her on the Frenemies podcast. I just don't like that she said that. I feel like that was just very messed up. And I think that she's trying to hit below the belt right there. That's just my two cents. Y'all can let me know what you guys feel about that. So anyways... She quote tweets his tweet again, and she says, imagine always being the victim in every situation. James, how do you do it? How are you so perfect? I know it's easy to deflect uh, to me now, but imagine being James Charles, more hated than even Trisha Paytas. Whew, what a feat. P.S. Stop stealing small creators, art, clothing, um, MU looks, makeup looks, I'm assuming, um, etc. So it's just kind of like, this gives her the opportunity to like go and go and go. And look, y'all, I'm all for people commenting and like throwing their opinions out there, but it's just kind of like, oh my gosh, sometimes it just gets a little bit too much so this is her continuing on right here people use me to deflect because of my reputation of trolling and being canceled i'm fine with it i was here before they could walk and i'll be here long after they cancel themselves with their cocky a you know what we're better than you attitudes it doesn't get you anywhere bad attitudes are the fall the yeah the fall of some huge a-list celebs who are actually talented and you can bet the same goes for the d-list hacks like james Y'all, oh my gosh, she she's really going in on this one, honestly. But you could just always tell, like, honestly, if you watch the Frenemies podcast too, that she just really has it out for James. And honestly, I've I've let it be known time and time again, I'm really no fan of James Charles. I don't know, there's just I don't know. I get this impression of him, and this could totally be me. And I know to never judge a book by its cover. However, if I were to be judging a book by its cover, I've never met him. He does seem kind of condescending and he does seem like he's superior. That's just my two cents, okay? That's just my opinion. I could totally be wrong and I'm so open for that. And I actually hope that I'm wrong. Um, however, I just get that impression of him. I just feel like he's up here and everyone else is down here. I don't know. I could totally be wrong, but I am a pretty good people reader. Anyways, moving on right here. And this is like one of the like... <sighs> meanest things that Trisha Paytas had said, uh, in my personal opinion. I feel like she just needs to know when to stop. She said, definitely have always said no one deserves to be canceled. Everyone has room for growth slash positive influence, except James Charles. Please cancel him. He, a forever victim with a superior, superior superiority conflict, I think she means complex, um, he has never said sorry his whole life slash hangs out with a underage girl regularly. I believe that she's turning this into something that it's not, honestly, and I feel like the direction that this is going is really really messed up because now it's obviously getting into some accusations right here and I think that that really sucks because recently I have really been liking Trisha Paytas honestly and I'm just sitting here like <sighs> reading these and I'm like girl like no just stop just stop just put your phone down stop going down this road like honestly um I don't know, like they're five years apart. And yes, I do know at that age, obviously it is, you know, a tricky situation, him being 21, her being 16. However, clearly they are just friends. Like clearly he's being a mentor to her. Like, and how can she compare it to Tati and James when they're like 20 years apart? You know what I'm saying? How can you compare that? I, I just don't get it. 
Anyways, um, this is, I believe, the last one right here. James Charles really thought he did something. He's fat shame me, now he's age shame me. But I never called you a groomer. Hanging with minors as an adult, however, is P word S. <sighs> As you guys can see from right here, this is actually getting blown into something so far bigger than what it really is. And I really just wish at this point, Trisha would just stop. Like, I don't know. I feel like she's blowing it into something that it's not. It's like, oh my gosh, girl, you can fully have your opinions. I don't know why she's turning this into something completely out of bounds with James Charles. And I actually feel really, really bad for him. Y'all know I said it before. I never felt like he was the P word. I just never have felt that um, during his whole situation. And I really do feel bad for him, what he went through. And she's bringing this up again and trying to make it seem like him and Charlie being friends is really something. I just feel like that's really, really low of Trisha. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I know she will never issue an apology to him. However, she's digging herself deeper and deeper here. And I do feel like she does owe him an apology because that's just really messed up. But that's just my two cents on the situation. You guys can let me know what you guys think about it and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.